Hi Indonesia, my name is Elizabeth Catherine, the representative of Petra Christian University for the selection of Mahasiswa Berprestasi 2016. In this opportunity, I would like to explain my proposed idea about light pipe from recycled materials as a solution for daylighting in high density housing. We cannot deny that Indonesia has high density population. As in Surabaya, the population density is more than 9,000 individuals per kilometer square. The density tends to be concentrated in lower class housing. The land is limited, especially in metropolitan cities. Therefore, the dwelling becomes row houses. The walls of neighboring buildings do not allow a house to have any adequate openings. It means there is a lack of daylighting which creates unhealthy habitations. Daylight is very important because it affects the human's health and comfort which can increase the occupant productivity and it also has benefit in energy savings. Based on those conditions, I propose the idea of light pipe to provide daylighting from the roof without gaining solar heat radiation. Previously, this device has been already produced in another developed countries but not in Indonesia yet. Besides, it's also expensive, so I tried to create more easy and affordable solution. The main materials are used cans of biscuits. Can is chosen because it is one of the inorganic waste which is non-biodegradable and it has suitable characteristics especially its reflectivity that is needed to reflect the light inside the pipe. We need to arrange the cans, stick them with epoxy adhesive, place the glass dumbbell as the receiver as well as the frosted pattern glass as the diffuser. This device is mounted on the roof to the ceiling. The sunlight enters the receiver on the roof, reflects on the metal surface inside the pipe and then illuminates the room below it. The installation is simple because there is no need to modify the existing roof structures. Previously, I did an experiment to measure the light transmitter of the light pipe. I made a box covering the pipe, then placed a sensor of light matter A on the top of the box and light matter B on the base of the pipe. The result shows that the average light transmittance is 14.86%. This number is on ceiling, but on the working plane, the intensity will be decreased due to the distance. To prove the prototype works well, I attached this device into the real house in Siwalan Kerto, Surabaya. Initially, the intensity in this room was only 0.16 lux that is almost completely dark, and the occupant must turn on the lamp whole day. After the light pipe has been installed, the light intensity increased. The highest intensity is at noon, which is more than 30 lux. The result is not as good as the previous experiment because of several factors, such as the neighboring buildings are higher than this house and other factors. So, if we face the non-ideal case like this, the variable that we can change is to add more light pipes. This solution is very potential to be applied widely in Indonesia's high-density housing area. The local government can collaborate with non-governmental organizations and also the local activists and mass media to socialize and educate local citizens so that they will able to make and install this device independently. Imagine how it could be if we implement this simple yet affordable solution in the entire Indonesia. By using this light bike, we can, the first one, improve the health and comfort in dwelling, and also reduces electricity, and the last one, it also reduces in organic waste. It's a small thing, but it really matters. A country's competitiveness starts in a healthy house.